Mac Method Gang. This is why, as an introvert, you need to have body game. Body game is crucial. Body game is one of the most important things you can have in terms of physically, obviously. So let's get straight into it, to be honest. Are you an introvert? First, we got to find out, are you an introvert? If you're watching this video, you're obviously an introvert. Why would you be watching this if you aren't? What is an introvert? What does that even mean, right? What does it mean to be introverted? Introverted means feeling more energized and quiet, low stimulation environments like being alone or with close friends. Introverts often prefer reflection and deep thinking over large social gatherings, which can feel draining. It's about where they gain energy, not necessarily about being shy. So me, I'm 100% an introvert, 1000% like an introvert. I prefer to be alone. Anyone that knows me in my personal life, I prefer to be alone. That doesn't mean I don't like interacting with people. That doesn't mean I don't like socializing at all. No, if the situation calls for it, I can easily and will do that. And I find fun in that as well. But for the most part, I like keeping to myself. Now, the problem with introverted people, it doesn't necessarily mean you're shy. It's just most introverted people, for the most part, that haven't, that hasn't developed body game, that hasn't developed the confidence, that hasn't developed the charisma, are shy. You get what I'm saying? If you de When you developed all those skills as an introvert, you're not shy anymore. You're just introverted. You just like being alone, but you have the ability to actually communicate and socialize charisma, all that stuff. But if you don't have none of those skills, you don't have the body game. You don't have the confidence you feel in yourself. You don't look at yourself as you're someone that you feel proud of, someone that you really actually like seeing. You're going to be shy around people. You don't want to talk to people. You're going to be crept up in, you're going to be cooped up in a corner like how I was. You're going to have no confidence. You're going to have no charisma. It's, it's, it's bad, bro. Trust me. I've been there guys. It's not nothing to be shamed of. I obviously grew out of that. Now I don't experience that at all. I'm not shy at all. Prefer to be alone, but I'm not shy at all. So that's the first thing. If you if you define as this type of introvert to where you lack these skills, obviously watch this video because I'm going to show you how to overcome it and why you need it and why it's important as an introvert, right? So if we go to the next slide, confidence. This is an old picture. This picture is 2020. I want to say 2021, maybe. It's either 2020, 2021, something like. No, it has to be 2021 because I cut my hair again. So this picture was taken in 2021. Um, I'm actually. I'm bigger now than I was in this picture, but this, I had a really good pump and all that stuff. Anyways, confidence, right? Guys, come on, man. Do I have to really go over confidence, bro? When you get in shape, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you see that you're him, bro. Every time I look in the mirror, I take a shower. I'm like, yeah, let's go. This is no pump, by the way. And I look freaking huge, bro. Like, come on, man. I feel great. It's all. It's obviously not any everything is about body game and the looks. Guys, obviously, I know that. I make this because it's just very, very easy to gain confidence from that. It, it's the truth. It's so the truth. Your personality and your soul obviously is a major part of this. Things like who are you governed by, God, things like that. But as far as just physical stuff, I'm only talking about the physical stuff in the current moment. It just easily will boost your confidence, hundred percent. Come on, like when you look good, you feel good, and everyone knows this. When you go get a fresh cut, when you let the barber bless you, you feel good. You walk out of there like you're a million bucks, bro. You walk out of there like I own this. That's how you feel. That's how you feel. So imagine if you build your body up to the point where you feel like I'm really that guy, bro. I'm really out here. I'm him. Like you feel like that all the time. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. When you build your physique up, like how I built my physique up, bro, you just feel like that. You do. And and, 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 it, and it's going to help you break out of your shyness, your shell that you have. Um, part of the reason why you're shy and introverted is because you don't have the confidence. I didn't have the confidence, bro. I had no confidence. I had you seen my video. If you want to know my whole story, watch my video. It's literally called How I Gained 25 Pounds of Muscle, Got an Unbreakable Mindset, and Maximize My, my um, Looks. You, I, I can explain, explain everything step by step on what exactly I did. You know what I mean? 
Anyways, you have to genuinely feel yourself when you look in the mirror and understand that you are that guy. This starts off building a strong body that you know is capable, attractive, and appealing. It's it's really that simple. Getting in, I say this in every video. Getting in shape is one of the easiest ways to build confidence. One, because you obviously start looking better. Two, you obviously start feeling better, literally feeling better. And three, your body is capable of doing more things than it wasn't before. You're stronger now. You're more athletic now. You look better now. Your physique actually resembles that of a man, someone that has masculinity, someone that has that frame. And in turn, you build discipline. There's zero cons. I say that in every video, and I'm going to keep saying that to every video so you understand that there's zero cons to it. Everything about it. There's no negative side effect. There's no downside. Everything good is about it. So that's why I just don't get how people can live their life without working out or really taking it serious. I'm not saying you have to be in the gym 10 hours a day, but you should be in there every day. I strongly believe that you should be working out every single day. It doesn't have to be for six hours, two hours, three hours, 45 minutes, an hour. That's it. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's go to the next thing. Attraction. I touched on it. Guys, look at this, bro. You can see the clear this day. Look at the difference here. And look at the difference. This was me. I took this picture, I think, two days ago. This is me with a full-on pump. And this pump was crazy. But it's just every year, bro, I get better and better and better and better and better and better. Every single year, my my gains keep going up. Every single year, bro. And obviously, it builds attraction. Being attractive can influence first impressions, social interactions, and opportunities. It's not just about the looks, but also personality and confidence, which I said in the last slide, which shape how others perceive you. It's true. You got to remember that your look is marketing and branding. That's why it's so important. The look is the marketing and branding. I'm going to say it again. The look is the marketing and branding. If I looked like a stick, if I was fat and obese, if I was out of shape, didn't know how to, you know what I mean? No grooming, no looks maxing, no anything, hair out of whack. Bro, let's be real. Is anyone going to talk to you? Probably not. Are you going to get any type of attraction, any type of choosing signals, any type of anything from a woman or from anyone? Probably not. You can argue, oh, it's not fair. Well, everyone should be treated equally. But that's not reality, bro. It's not reality. You gotta, you have to operate in reality. We live in the real world. This is the real world, bro. You either get with it or get lost. Like, it, it is what it is. And anyways, you, wanna, you should want to be with it anyways. Because why wouldn't you want to look your best? Why wouldn't you want to feel your best? It makes no sense. So anyways... That's something you have to do. You have to build up the attraction. You have to build up the body game. This is a huge part of it. Huge part of this body game. If you have trouble getting in shape, you don't know what to do. You don't know where to start. Book a call in my Calendly. If you really want to take this serious, book a call with me. Bro, I'm going to get you right because I started from zero. Again, watch my video, how I gained 25 pounds of muscle, unbreakable mindset, and maximize my appearance. Watch that video. If you're not convinced that I can't help you, literally watch that video because I started from zero, absolute zero. I'm talking about stick man. I'm talking about pimple face. I'm talking about no grooming, no haircut, no swag, no style, zero confidence, shy as hell. Dude, everything zero. I like literally. And now I'm here today. Come on, man. Stop playing. So book a call if you really want to, man. Anyways, let's go to the next one. It's all about how people perceive you. Actually, let me stay on this real quick. You got to understand that when when people see you, bro, especially women, when they see you that you're in shape, that they see you, that you take care of yourself, that you have that, that look, they're going to talk to you. It's impossible for them not to. I don't go. I'm not the guy to go out of my way to talk to people. Or go out of my way to do this and that. I'm not. But 95% of the time, people come to me. Women come to me. At my job, they all come to me. They literally will wait for me. Giving me numbers. 
jumping out the window in front of their husbands, bro. It's, I mean, hey, you don't have to believe me, man. But once you, people that know, man, you know, bro, you know what it is. Anyways, let's go to the next slide. Charisma. Charisma. Being charismatic is one of the best things you can be. And that starts with body game. People, and you're probably like, how the hell is getting in shape going to give you make you more charismatic? The reason why is because, like I said, when people start coming up to you and asking you questions, asking you about, oh, how'd you get in shape? How'd you do that? Oh, you're looking good. Or that shirt fits nice. They're going to start inquiring. They're going to start asking you because they want to know what you did to get that physique. They clearly, and even like say if they knew you, when you were out of shape and then you got in shape, oh yeah, they're going to talk to you anyways. But even people that never have seen you before and they see you that you're clearly in shape that you, they're going to comment, bro. They're going to compliment you. They're going to comment. They're going to ask you what's up. They're going to see, they're going to ask inquiring questions because they see the gains every single day. I have to say every single day I get asked every single day. Oh my God, you work out. Oh my God. I love your hair. Oh my God. I love your, how the shirt fits on you. Or they say, I like how the shirt looks, but it's because it fits. Or literally, I had a um, customer today tell me they love my arms. She loves my arms. They're telling me I should be her personal trainer. It's 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 not rocket science. And this obviously forces you to be better with people because it's forcing you to talk to people. You're so worried about being introverted and shy that you can't even communicate with people properly. You don't know how to speak. The, you got to understand that the way you talk to people is a is a huge thing it literally makes or breaks relationship if if relationships it doesn't have to be romantic just regular relationships if people don't like you and i'm not saying try to get everyone to like you but if you're just someone that's charismatic someone that's cool knows how to talk to people knows how to make people feel good you're gonna get a lot of opportunities and build good relationships i have really good relationships in my workplace but the people I know because of me, because I'm genuinely a good person and I know how to talk to them. I know how to make people feel good. And I'm just a cool person. All the customers, all the people I work with, they know what it is because it's just, it's just, it comes with it, bro. I'm telling you, because before I didn't have any of this, I was not charismatic. I was always a good person. I would say, you know, I was always genuine, but it's not like I knew it, it, it's different. It's different because I didn't have the confidence. I didn't have the the conviction with my words. I didn't have any influence. How can I influence anyone when I'm a stick filled with acne, no confidence, barely can speak, and tucked away in a corner? What kind of influence is that? Now, I influence everyone I work with. Every single person in my job that I work with is influenced by me. How? Because they're all trying to get in shape now. So ever since I started working there, they I literally got one of my coworkers to lose 60 pounds. Another one started a diet plan, gave her my diet plan. She lost like 10 pounds. Another one said, oh, I'm going to start going to the gym every day. She's been going to the gym. Another one started eating better. That's influence, bro. And the reason why they got influence is because they see the physique. They see the gains. They see how I carry myself. They see what it is. They see how people interact with me. They see how the other customers interact with me. influence bro care be being charismatic charisma draws people in making them feel attracted engaged and inspired like i just said it helps build trust influence and connections often making charismatic individuals more persuasive and likable what i just went over bro charisma can create a strong emotional impact making others feel energized and valued in their presence here's here's one thing everyone that's around me they always say, you're always so happy. Your energy is magnetic. Your energy is very captivating. It's because I'm always happy. It's because I'm always someone there that they know that if they interact with me, it's going to boost their mood up because my vibra- I vibrate on a high frequency. I'm always someone that's, I- I'm never complaining like that. I'm never, you know what I mean? I- I- I'm the person that keeps the vibration up. They come to me when they need that energy. And I'm and I'm an introvert. That's the thing. But I'm trying to tell you that once you do this, you start getting the body game, you start getting the you know what I'm saying, the confidence. It's going to lead into all this. You start talking with people more. It's going to lead into all this stuff. It's going to lead to it, bro. And the last thing is opportunities. 
You will be presented with opportunities in any situation and dynamics. Like I said, once you get the confidence, the charisma up, you know what I'm saying? It leads to opportunities. How? Well, I kind of basically touched on it already. Well, first, your attraction, the branding. What are you marketing? Your marketing is good. So automatically, people are going to start wanting to talk to you. Hey, what is he doing? Hey, what's up? Hey. And even if they're not asking you about fitness or asking you about what you do, they're going to want to talk to you anyway because you just look like someone they want to talk to. You look like someone they want to be associated with, someone around, someone they want to be around. That's how I get a lot of people that want to be around me because I look a certain way. I act a certain way and I just am a certain way. It's not an act. It's not a show. Yeah, I look this way, but I actually am that way. You know what I mean? So it's like relationships, friends, networking and peers like I just touched on in my job. I have a lot of connections and build pretty strong relationships, strong foundations with people. So I have the ability to get go places because I know people. And people know me and they know how I am. That's how I even got my job in the first place. That's the only reason why I even got my job in the first place is because someone knew me. They knew how I was as a person and how I carried myself as a person. That's how I got this job. It wasn't because of my resume. I'll tell you that much. It was not because of that, bro. Let's move on. Jobs. Positions, obviously, you'll get a higher chance of getting a better position. Of course, that doesn't only mean, oh, because he has a body game, that means he's going to get a position. Obviously not. But what it is, is, like I said, the branding. You can hear that I have guy A, out of shape, obese. He has everything, though. He knows how to do the job. He knows how to do this. He knows how to do that. Then you have guy B, body game. His branding is good. He actually knows how to take care of himself, all this stuff. And he knows how to do the job. Who do you think is going to get the job? Guy B, bro. Every single time. Every single time. Because he looks, he doesn't, and he is the part. The other guy, he is the part, but he doesn't look it. They don't want, you're not going to want him in the front lines like that. He'll probably get a position in the back, but not in the front lines. You know what I'm saying? It's just because the branding, bro, the branding, bro. Don't hate, don't hate the player. Don't even hate the game. Just learn how to play it. Simple as that. Romantic int- romantic interest. Obviously, your dating life is going to improve. Man, when you're introverted, bro, and you are not the type to... This is, this is really the main reason. Well, not the main reason. Dating isn't a main reason, but obviously dating is a big part of life. Whatever. When it comes to introverts, you're automatically not the person, in most cases, to actually interact to actually go up to people to actually you know interact with people you rather have them come up to you right so especially it's important for you to have that attraction for you to have the body game for you to have the branding the marketing up to date because if you're not gonna if you're not gonna go up to someone anyway and you have no body game you have no nothing your 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 physique is whack your style is whack you know what I'm saying? You don't look any type of the part. You're shy. You have no confidence. You have no charisma. And you won't even go up to anyone anyway. Who? How do you expect to get any type of play at all? You're not. You are not. You're not. So at the least, you need to get your branding up, your body game right, and your, in, your charisma and confidence up because people are going to be drawn to you. You're not going to have to go up to people that you don't if you don't want to. Now you should go up to people anyway, but for the most part, you don't even have to do anything. They'll go up to you. And if they don't, you're going to get signals that are going to show it's going to clearly show you that this person is looking at you and is attracted to you and you can easily go up to them. Cuz you already have your foot in the door. It's not like you're you're pulling teeth and you're just coming out of nowhere no they you know you see the signs you know what i mean so anyways guys like i say in all my videos i'm not a dating coach but this is like basic stuff bro basic stuff you should you should even if you're introverted or not or extroverted whatever you need to have your body game especially if you're introverted bro especially 100 percent, 100 percent. that's why you need body game as an introvert you need it coming from a fellow introvert bro 
Anyways, like the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications because I heard YouTube's going to be blocking like fitness and th these type of videos for some reason. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.